Is that the official in charge? Yeah, yeah. they exercise control over the day. And secondly, I will control my thoughts, my tongue and my limbs, so that I should not intentionally do injury to any of my friends in the Olympic That's my pre meeting talk to you, Jay. You don't need to know anything, you don't know that than I do anyway, so don't worry about it. But don't give me any hassle about the patient. I like that. My indigestion is very bad, and I don't want to get worse. Certainly, the development officer of the Salkers Village Council is out there on the centre green to present the trophy to Paul Bodley. Uh, standing on behalf of Wentzfield. 11 years in succession, Wentzfield have won the trophy, so there's uh, a new name going on it today for uh, a bit of a while at least. South London certainly uh, have been in the final before, so Paul, but uh, it's going to be a new name for at least 11 years going on the trophy today. And so the uh, Gold Cup uh, is being presented to Wentzfield as a mark of that uh, success. Running number one for Paul is Phil Gardner. Hey! Hey! Number two is Andy Lake. Hey! Number three for Paul, Andy Barnes. Hey! Number four for Paul, John Tully. Hey! Number five is Aidan. Hey, James G. Number six is Marty Gale. Hey! Number nine seven for Paul today is John Bryan. Hey! And the South London team, led by their captain, Ian Lawrence. Riding number one, his brother, Leo. Number two, the Olympic runner, Peter Elliott. Number three, Scott Scott. Number four, is Harry Lawrence. Number five, is Dave Kroger. And uh, seven, eight, uh, the short time in the program. So number seven, is Dave Wilson. And number eight today is Tony Birch. Yeah. So we're underway at this field level for the 1984 Gold Cup final between Paul and South London. <laughs> Oh, 
South London have won the Tusk for good positions and have elected to take the inside goods in the first heat. And so the
JB, come on. Come on, Andy, mate. Come on, Come on, John. Come on, Come on, here we go, then, John. All the way up. It's Ada Gale and Murphy Gale. For South London, it's still standing for Gary Lawrence. <laughs> Switch it, 
Well, luckily, I've uh, excluded the two South London riders for not reaching the takes uh, in the minute time allowed. So that leaves just Phil Garden and Ray in the T12. <laughs> The result of Pete's four down was a win for Phil Gale, second place went to Andy Wayne, only two finishes in fact of the John, one and two next to the board is in now, the total of 74 points. And Ian was still can do. He's got no points for South London. Push him up! 
John, push Ryan in, come on, push him out. On the one hand.
Rose has been a different name on the trophy. It's always been Wensfield, but now Paul will make the, uh, do the double with the uh, Gold Cup final. And of course, they're also reigning British team champions. Riding at number one for Paul was Phil Garth. Looked like he was going to get a maximum today, but uh, unfortunately got beat in his last ride. But still a superb afternoon's racing from Phil. Thank you. The four was Andy Lane. Thank you. Number three was Andy Barnes. Thank you. Number five for Paul, Andy Gale. Number six is Willow Martingale. Thank you. And the number eight for Paul was John Bush. And the team manager for Paul was Colin Sutton. This is not the Academy Award for the uh, Academy Award. Where's my fault? Thank you. So there they are, ladies and gentlemen, the 1982 Gold Cup winners, Paul J.T. Commercials. Let's give them a big round as they do their lap of honour. Next weekend at Wolverhampton, it's the, uh, the two-legged uh, English the two English League playoffs. That's uh, as far as we know, Paul, Wensfield, Southampton, and we're not sure whether it's Manchester or Whitley. That's in the playoffs next Saturday at Wolverhampton, and the final of the English League playoff is on Sunday. Uh, the, whichever two teams get through will be contesting the final at Sunday on Sunday at Sandwell. That's next Saturday and Sunday, Wolverhampton and Sandwell.